Yo, Adam Saxon with Guy in a Cube, and in this video, we are gonna look at sharing and collaboration inside of Power BI. Stay tuned. If you're finding us for the first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the videos we crank out. If you're returning to this channel, thanks for coming back. All right, sharing and collaboration. Why do we even care about this? Well, Power BI itself, the, the service is a platform that allows you to share, collaborate, distribute your reports to other users, right? Because it's not just you that's wanting to look at these awesome reports that you make. Other users want to get insights to this data as well. And it may be that maybe you're the one creating the report and getting them out there, or maybe you're the one consuming it and you're curious about where are all the spots that I could actually go consume this report at. So I'm gonna break it down for you right now. First up, let's just talk about the share button. So the share button is an item inside of dashboards and reports where you can actually share those items out to other users directly. I did a video on workspaces and I commented there, I will comment here, please do not share reports or dashboards directly from your My Workspace, do it from an app workspace. The last thing that we want is interruption to business if something happens and we can't get to the My Workspace to update those reports when they're needed. So just do it from your app workspace. If you don't have any idea what I'm talking about, I've got a video linked here to go check out workspaces so you can figure out what that is about. But yeah, you can hit that share button from both dashboards and reports and share those out to either users or groups or whatever. I would argue that sharing a dashboard and a report may be great for like a one-off or hey, you wanna just give this to one person, that's great. But what if you have a report or dashboard where you wanna actually, this is going out to a large group of people or maybe a specific group of folks or you know something of that nature, I would recommend using an app. And so you can publish that app from the app workspace and you can give access to users and groups and other things of that nature to where they can get access to that app. So what an app is, is just a read only kind of window into those dashboards and reports that are inside of an app workspace. So I don't need to give all these people access, direct access to the app workspace. I can give them access to the app and then they can go consume the content that they are interested in. Also those apps will go into a nice neat area off on their own and they won't be cluttered around uh, with other shared items or within your personal workspace items or app workspaces. These apps can also be pushed out to folks. So if you've got a, maybe you're hiring someone new and when they start on day one, they should have access to certain reports and dashboards automatically. That app can be pushed out to certain security groups so that when they start their day, they just have access to those items and don't have to hunt around for it, which is cool. Both of the items I mentioned, sharing dashboards and reports and apps, giving people access to those apps. Well, that's great for inside my organization, but what if I wanna share these out with other folks? Maybe I'm collaborating with another organization, maybe it's a vendor, partner, or you know, maybe I've got a consultant I'm working with. What if they need to have access to some of these reports as well? Well, you can share these items or you can give access to items to folks that are external of your organization. This is done through what's called Azure AD B2B, and this allows you to add in that external email address and then they can get access to those items. There will be like a flow for the first time they want to sign up with your organization so that there's a link between them, and then they can go in and check out that content. Just make sure that they keep the link, the direct link to those items, because they won't show up in their tenant. So when they sign into app.powerbi.com, they're not gonna see those apps and shared items that are from another organization. They gotta keep those links handy somewhere. All right, so that's cool. That's great for direct access into you know, app.powerbi.com, but what if I wanna stick these reports in areas outside of app.powerbi.com? What can I do there? Maybe I wanna collaborate with folks on a different website, and but I wanna have a report there that allows them to do that collaboration. You have a couple options. So first off, there is the secure embed option. So if you go into a report, go to file, secure embed, you will get an iframe token that you can then put that on a given web page you know, wherever you wanna stick it. The beauty of the secure embed iframe token is that it will actually prompt people to log into the Power BI service. So it's wrapped in the security of Power BI. This means that they actually have to have, you know, some access to Power BI, right? So this isn't like just some person that knows nothing about Power BI and wants to come in. This is someone that is assigned to uh, the different pieces of content. And that content 
the, the user hitting that content either needs to have a pro license or that content has to be backed by premium capacity. But Secure Embed is a great way to share out reports or embed reports into items like blog posts, other things where there's confidential data and I want to lock that down and make sure people sign in to access that content. All right, but what if I've got a report that is, I just want it's public facing. There's no sensitive information in it. There's no you know personal identifiable information inside of it. It's just a report that I wanna demonstrate something either for demo purposes or for just public use. There's a feature out there called Publish to Web. So Publish to Web is similar to Secure Embed. It's a little more limited on what you can do with it. And also there is no security with this. So you've gotta be really careful with Publish to Web and make sure that there is no sensitive information in those reports that you're embedding. But this does give you an iframe code that you can stick in any location. So maybe it's a blog post, maybe it's a website wherever you can do that. A great example of published to web is the Microsoft investor information. So folks, you know, stockholders, things of that nature, they wanna go see detailed information about how Microsoft is performing. The investor section of Microsoft.com has actually published to web reports from Power BI inside of it. Now, if your company is using SharePoint Online, there's also the Power BI web part for SharePoint Online. So this allows you to embed a report inside of your SharePoint page that's inside of your SharePoint infrastructure itself. So this is great because you can add other things from a SharePoint perspective and have the report alongside of it. So it's really helpful from a collaboration perspective if you're doing those type of items inside of SharePoint itself. And then if you wanna go full tilt and want to use reports in an application and or with folks that know nothing about Power BI and you wanna control the security experience and everything about that, Power BI Embedded is the answer for you. So this allows you full control to embed reports, dashboards, tiles, visuals, whatever you want into your application in whatever way that you want. So you have full control from an API perspective through the JavaScript APIs and the REST APIs. You can customize how these visuals look, how they interact, everything about it. It's very cool. It does require some developer knowledge. So you're gonna have to write some code if you wanna go down that road, but it gives you the full flexibility to include those reports, dashboards, tiles, visuals, alongside of elements inside of your application and to keep relevance to those items. Hopefully this was helpful for you. Let me know down in the comments below the way that you share or collaborate with Power BI. I'd love to hear it. If you like this video, be sure to hit that big thumbs up button, smash it if you so desire. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button. And as always from both Patrick and myself, thank you so much for watching. Keep being awesome and we'll see you in the next video.